Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's show, where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I am Sasha Segan. This is Michael Muchmore. Um, we have a special One Cool Thing right now, uh, which we are going to uh, we're, we're going to use to look forward into the future and talk about something that you are going to have to do if you are an American, if you are in the United States, something that you have to do between now and the middle of April, and that is doing your taxes. Our big tax roundup just published for the year. This is something we do annually. And uh, we have assessed a whole bunch of different online tax filing programs and services and chosen the best one for you. Now, if you are watching on Facebook live, then please feel free to ask questions uh, of Social Pete. He's over here in the comments field. We are not lawyers. We are not tax attorneys. We are not accountants. We cannot solve or do your taxes, uh, but we can talk about software. That's a thing we can do. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, good luck doing your taxes. Uh, hopefully this will help you. Uh, but also think about coming over to Facebook on a different day, on a weekday, 10 a.m. Eastern, when we have a different one cool thing every day on PCMag.com. So, Michael, this year, well, let, let's talk about, let's first talk about sort of the whole realm of right. how we've done tax software over time. Yeah, I, I know for some people this is a very taxing topic, but I think, I think it can be fun, actually. But most of these products, they'll pr pretty much take you through a wizard, and it's a questionnaire, sort of. Um, you know, you answer, are, are you single, are you married, whatever, and then next step, okay? And then it'll, you won't have to look at those confusing tax documents at all from the government. It, it's all hidden from you, and um, actually our, our top pick, TurboTax, has a beautiful interface, um, lots of help with your tax um, questions, which, which is very important. Um, I mean, that's a big part of our rating of these, is how much help with tax questions do you get? And so now, do you have to get, so do you have to, now I, I have never used software to file my taxes. Really? I have always had my taxes filed one of two ways, either by sitting down with a pencil and paper, doing math, ah. or by hiring an account. Okay, well, um, I mean, I should note that some of these are even free, like if your tax situation is simple enough, probably yours and mine not really, if you have any investments or anything, you're not going to get a free um, version, except for Credit Karma, which does have free version for even complicated tax situations. But we don't like it. But we don't like we it. We don't like it. It doesn't give much help with the tax. Um, and I actually even had a problem um, using it for a friend and where we filed it and the government didn't get his money and they said, oh, we're sorry in an email. And so, uh, yeah, not a huge recommendation for Credit Karma. But if you really don't want to pay, that could be a way to go. Okay, so, so let's talk about, so do you need to get new tax software every year? Is this you, you pretty You do, okay. you do. And, and what, what we've reviewed here are pretty much all the online, the web-based versions. And um, I actually there have to point out, if you do taxes for a friend or relative or anyone else, that's not the way to go. It seems like, oh yeah, web-based, it is, it is convenient. You just do it from web browser. You can do it from a mobile app as well. And there are even like TurboTax lets you take a picture uh, with your mobile phone of your W-2 and then it will just import all of the information that way. It saves you a lot of entering. Wow. Um, actually, they all, most of the good ones, will you'll just have to put in like your employer ID and like one or two lines from your W-2 and it'll import all the other data and, and there's a lot of importing and importing from your bank accounts. And now can, the, can these programs do even complicated taxes and I'm thinking taxes in uh, vicinities where there's complex state and local taxes or people who have freelance income right. well, or yeah, people but, who have uh, protected education expenses or people who itemize. Yeah, there are different levels. Like, like um, TurboTax has a, a self-employed level. They have the deluxe is sort of the mid-range. Um, you know, they have business levels that will handle um, those Schedule Cs and all that. Um, and some of them, if you go up higher, it'll even create the W-2s for your employees. So you, you, mm. can, you can go way up there. Um, I'm not saying all of the products do that, but the, the bigger ones like TurboTax okay. do that. So let's, let's dive into TurboTax for a moment. Now, you, we, you notice that we've tested one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight different tax packages. We rated them between two and four and a half stars. So there's a very wide range of different quality in terms of these tax packages. The one which we've selected as our favorite, the best, the one we recommend that people broadly buy is Intuit TurboTax Deluxe. So let's go into this review and we can talk about why TurboTax Deluxe is the best tax package. Well, basically it has the best, in a nutshell, has the best interface, the most usable interface, and the best help with tax issues. Uh, they even added a new um, feature this year where you can have a video conference with a live tax, ex tax expert. Um, that costs more though. I think that costs like $149. Um, TurboTax is also the most expensive one though. I mean, I mentioned those advantages of it. Uh, I don't <laughs> know what I'm doing here on the, the big ad. screen. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's the most expensive um, unless, as I mentioned, if you, if you actually buy a uh, DVD-ROM or download the installable software that lets you do up to five tax returns which is a pretty good deal mm -hmm. if you if you do the web-based version each mm -hmm. one has to pay the full amount and it's about 60 bucks and another thing about the um, the price now wait wait it's yeah. 59.99 here but I'm seeing 39.99 they always what? have you know deals so that's a special they were on right now it is but that also might be just for federal you, you probably have to add more money most of them charge extra for state and sometimes mm -hmm. state mm -hmm. costs more than federal mm -hmm. even um, because it's a more particular use case. Now, is there a difference? Uh, is there a difference in terms of now? We've talked a lot about the the ease of use of these tax packages. Is there a difference in their effectiveness? Is there a difference in how much money they are they manage to squeeze out of the government for you, basically? Well, they um, the good ones like Tax Act and TurboTax actually guarantee the result. Like like. Um, you, you will, um, they will reimburse you if, if you overpaid or something and the, and the federal, because the mm. federal government, when you file, they check it too and they say, right. oh, you paid right. too much. And they actually will say that sometimes. And, um, or you paid not enough. And if you didn't pay enough, TurboTax will reimburse you because they guarantee that, that they got it right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in terms of, of uh, you know, no, a, a live thinking, person can probably right. find you deductions. Right, that in terms you might of finding not. deductions. But these are pretty that, good at that. I mean, they, they go into a lot of very detailed um, situations that to try to help you find more deductions. Okay, so TurboTax, TurboTax, great, will will get you your money, but costs 60 bucks. And frankly, I think for a lot of people, especially people with taxes complicated enough that they're not filing a 1099 easy, uh, that they're not f filing a 1040 easy, sorry, not 1099, right, right, right. that they have things like 1099s, right. um, 60 bucks is probably reasonable? reasonable because that's a lot less than they're gonna get back in their refund. But keep in mind, Tax Act is almost as good and it's like half the price. Okay, so, so, let's take, so it's worth considering. Let's it's, take a look at Tax Act here. Yeah, so it's we've got a Tax Act, product. which is thirty dollars twenty two ninety five on a uh, on a on a on a sale. And now, how is this one different from TurboTax? You know, the interface quality is not is not quite as as friendly as what you get with TurboTax. Um, the help is pretty good. Um, but, but you know, it's, it's an order of magnitude, it's just a degree because this is four star review, that's four and a half. So, mm -hmm. so really, it's almost as good. It's just, you know, you know, it's just a Rolls Royce versus a Jaguar, something like that. And now, like Tax that. Act has a <laughs> price lock guarantee. What are they guaranteeing you here? Well, that's, that's the same thing that I was mentioning. Okay. That, okay. that um, if you, if you're not, if you, um, if it doesn't calculate your taxes right, they'll, they'll guarantee. Okay. Okay. So, um. Let me just talk a little more about that, like, okay, yeah. the filing. So, so you import your, your um, information from your bank and your investment accounts mm -hmm. and your W-2s. It figures out the tax. There's a final review. Um, and then you e-file, which, which if you haven't done, it's a great thing. Because um, I e-file and you get your return if you're getting money back. You get it within eight days, oh, which, is, which is okay. pretty incredible. I don't know, have you e-filed before? Um, or you no, as I mail? said, we always either mailed or we used an accountant. And we, we used an account, we, uh, the years we've used an accountant, it's because we've had uh, complicated freelance right. income in the family. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, if you owe money, I would say go ahead, you, you can just pay through the mail. But if you're gonna get money back, mm -hmm, the fastest mm -hmm. way is to e-file. And, and do it sooner, because as we mentioned, the pricing, if you wait up until the deadline, till April 15th, or it might be like 17th this mm -hmm. year or something, um, 
these services raise their prices as Ooh. you get closer. So yeah, the sooner the better, really. Yeah, and, and for a lot of Americans, actually, uh, February 1st was when a lot of tax documents became available. Yeah, um, annoyingly, my, mm -hmm. in the investments, a lot of investment things don't give you until February 15th. Okay, which okay. Is, so, which is, which is uh, as of the recording of this show, that's tomorrow. Right. So, uh, when you watch this in the future, uh, these documents are going to be available, and we uh, suggest that you get the software as soon as possible, because as Michael says, the price will go up. Right. And then, now, now, does the price go up based on when you buy it or when you file it? When you buy it. Okay, okay. So it, if yeah. you buy the software now, but don't yeah. file until April 12th because you're a procrastinator, Although, it's still fine. With TurboTax and some of the other ones, you can go through the whole process and you won't pay until you're going to file. Oh, so, so, so filing similar, earlier. So, so it could be the same thing, filing and paying. Okay, okay. Yeah. So and that, now, since we're here, let's talk about some of the uh, heavily advertised but lower rated Fax right. services, like uh, H and tax Block, services. maybe. Um, or uh, you see a lot of, uh, especially you see a lot of TV ads for Jackson Hewitt. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think our advice is frankly just don't go there because mm -hmm. you you pay a lot and the interface is not good. It doesn't mm -hmm. import previous years. Um, a lot of these services, TurboTax, Tax Act, they'll import your previous year's tax. It'll help you um, start, you know, entering all the mm -hmm. information, even from a competitor's, <laughs> um, even from a competitor's product. It doesn't work as well. If you if you use tax TurboTax last year and import it to this year, you're going to get a fuller import. But mm -hmm. if it, um, if you import from TurboTax Tax Act this year, you'll basically just be importing a PDF of your tax return, and, and okay. most of the data will be there. But it's not quite as full um, as if you had TurboTax last year. Okay. Okay. So um, I guess before we go, any questions out there? How long does it take to do your taxes with TurboTax? Which that? Oh, I mean, it depends on your situation. It's like if you if you've given to hundreds of charities, as I have, you know, you got to individually Michael's record very generous each, each one. No, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it totally. You could do it. You could do it in a couple of hours, really, if you have a, s a simple situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. So our our uh, roundup of 2018 tax software is up with eight fresh reviews. Uh, we recommend TurboTax Deluxe 2018 as our editor's choice, uh, as being uh, the easiest to use. Right, and, and the most help. And, and with the most help. Uh, if you're looking for a slightly less expensive option, uh, Tax Act Online Plus 2018 is a good choice. Uh, don't believe those TV ads you hear for H&R Block and Jackson Hewitt and Credit Karma. They're not as good. Um, this if you totally been... want a free Credit mm -hmm. Karma, is, is a okay. Way, is a Credit way to Karma go. is there; it's free. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you can find this roundup on uh, PCMag.com. Check out the reviews. Thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing. If you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you are on Facebook, uh, come on back tomorrow at 10 a.m. on a weekday. We are here every day, every weekday at 10 a.m. And we're bound to have a much cooler thing tomorrow right? with another <laughs> cool thing for you. Thanks a lot.